NASHTO Executive Director Jim Tymon is chairman of the U.S. National Committee of PARC, the World Road Association, known simply as PARC. Federal Highway Administration Executive Director Tom Everett is the U.S. first delegate to PARC. At this National Committee meeting in January 2020, AASHTO, FHWA, and PARC officials kicked off the 2020 to 2023 work cycle. During this period, subject matter experts from AASHTO, FHWA, and PARC's 120 advanced and developing countries will have the chance to volunteer to serve on PARC's technical committee. There's a lot of knowledge out there. John Milton chairs PARC's technical committee on safety, and he's vice chairman of AASHTO's committee on safety. Back at home at Washington State DOT, Milton serves as the Director of Transportation Safety and Systems Analysis. It's an important job because it involves instituting the right programs and policies at the right time to keep washed out employees and the traveling public safe. In transportation safety, I got to meet some of the top experts in the world and interact with them, share experiences, share education, share whatever it needed to be to improve safety worldwide. Milton says there's a real give and take when it comes to sharing workable solutions. Ideas born overseas are being implemented here in America and vice versa. First of all, I'd say safe systems. Uh, Vision Zero is another aspect that we see a lot of states looking at, bringing that information into their way of doing business. They're sound approaches, they're excellent approaches. Uh, sustainable safety is another one. The other countries, they look at things differently than us, but you know, little modifications can make it readily usable, implementable, and practical. Tiffany Julian is a transportation specialist in the Office of Freight Management and Operations at FHWA. She says as a committee volunteer, she's been able to share a lot of good practical information with her international colleagues on how to move freight more efficiently. What was of most value to me was definitely sharing with the international community FHWA's transportation freight policies. Um, I think they really embraced that information uh, and I was very happy to share that information with the, with the international colleagues. On a personal level, it was fantastic to build these relationships and build these friendships with um, folks from around the world. As FHWA's pavement materials team leader, Gina Alstrom is very familiar with the challenges posed by resiliency and extreme weather, two big issues also facing her counterparts around the world. We're seeing a lot of, of countries grappling with the topic of resiliency. Um, and we're really looking to share information on defining what that means specifically in, in my technical area of pavements um, and how to address some of those tough issues. Alstrom and the other volunteers agree that there is no substitute for face-to-face -face meetings with other volunteers from around the world. I would say take it as a great opportunity, exchange of information, uh, learning from each other is uh, always uh, been a pride for engineering and uh, take it positive and it's a lot to learn and a lot to discuss and I would say that's, that's a challenge and uh, I'm always looking forward and hope everybody else is looking forward for opportunities like this. For information on PARC's National Committee of the U.S., visit PARC.transportation.org. And to learn more about PRC, the World Road Association, visit PRC.org.